Hi, welcome back. I suppose it was about a year ago or something, if you were following the Instagram, you'd have seen this. I did a little battery powered uh, light system to install in the A-frame. But I never got around to putting the uh, solar charging system into this. So as you can see, it's just a battery and the wiring. So I'm gonna put one of these little spare uh, Renogy Wanderer uh, charge controllers that I have lying around because I keep upgrading them. So I'm gonna put that in here and then get this installed in the A-frame. So yeah, I'm gonna hook up the load back into this circuit. So everything from the lights to the outlet uh, all runs just off the load management of the Wanderer. And do that first. All right, now to connect up the battery, which I already have a fuse in that line. And the easy disconnect is the positive side of the battery, which I'm leaving uh, disconnected for now. It'll have to be connected before the uh, solar panels are connected because you can't connect live solar panels to a unit that doesn't have any kind of load or anywhere for the electricity to go because the panels will be generating electricity. There's no way to turn them off. Other than that, solar is very simple. Panels in, battery out, power out. If you're using this kind of unit that manages the load for you, Otherwise you connect your load directly to the battery and you just have solar panel connection and battery connection. And it's really very simple. It's just a matter of using the right gauge wire and things like that. This is a super low ampage system. This is only a 10 amp uh, charge controller, so it can only support 10 amps, which is way more than I'm gonna be using in the tiny little A-frame, charging phones and running a couple of little light bulbs. Great, let's take it down there. So this whole contraption just slots into the wall cavity. I found a, a 24 amp hour battery that has this, a thinner profile than a 2x4. Um, so it fits within a wall cavity of a regular 2x4 wall. Just. And then this will be here just to sort of tidy things up a little bit. I thought you could put your phone in there. Um, and have it charge uh, and not have to look at it while you're out enjoying nature. Power from the solar panels needs to get to here. These big fat cables uh, through this wall to the outside and then up to the roof. So I'm going to drill a hole around here, I guess. Something they, they don't teach you at off-grid school is all of the walking involved. Every time I forget one thing, like a screw or a screwdriver or a tool or a drill bit, I have to walk all the way back to the tool shed workshop and get that tool and then walk back. So I'm always carrying bags of tools and I think I've got everything. There's always one thing I forget. So it's good, I get my steps in. <laughs> Alright, it's getting pretty dark in here, so I've been connecting up a USB light to the Wanderer, uh, just to its USB port, so we can see. Oh, 
All right. I haven't connected the solar panels yet, so let's go do that. I'm actually going to install an inline fuse on the back of this panel when it arrives from Renergy. Just a 10 amp and make sure nothing overloads in the panel. But for now I'm going to go without. It is the Pacific Northwest after all and it's almost always overcast. Let's go check inside. Uh, it's 13.7 volts and probably zero. I would imagine yeah, zero amps. But it is charging. The little indicator there flashing tells us that it is getting uh, some voltage from the panels, so they're wired the right way around. And now it's going to go back in the hole in the wall. Okay, so that's in, that's done. Little door to hide the switch, which shouldn't be used as a light switch because that's the light switch. That won't work yet because it's not connected to the lights. Hurrah, the lights are working. I think that deserves a thumbs up. What about you? I don't know, maybe let the algorithm know people are paying attention. I love these little dimmable lights. They're, um, they're actually meant for around a deck, but I love how dim they go and how warm they are. It's kind of cozy. I didn't get the chance to record a proper outro to this one because it got too dark outside, but I'm here to say if you're not a subscriber yet, please consider doing so. And either way, thanks very much for watching.